Hi, everyone. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator and a teacher of narration. And I'm Trenton Bennett, and I'm also an audiobook narrator. And we like to share tips that uh, pertain to stuff that's at the front of our minds. And uh, these tips can be used for people who are narration curious, people who are just beginning their careers as narrators, and even for people who are uh, seasoned narrators, but perhaps what we're working on happens to be something that they'd like to refresh themselves on, or uh, perhaps they've had a blind spot too. So without further ado, we're going to go into this week's topic, which is being ready to record as quickly as possible. So uh, Trenton, what is your process? I want to make sure that when I record, it is the easiest thing for me to do that I can just come into my studio, get in front of the mic and start recording because anything else is a potential distraction that could lead me down a rabbit hole of, well, do I need to move this thing over? Do I need to set that over there? Do I, should I go ahead and set this thing back up again? Cause I put it away. Those kinds of things can make it very difficult for you to make the most of the time in the studio. And uh, let's uh, let's see if we can bring the curtain up on your studio and what you what you arrange. Hold on, yeah, let's do that. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my virtual background and give you a brief tour. Let's take a look so that you get the idea of how to make things as hassle-free as possible. So, one moment. This is my studio. This is the front door. And all I have to do is walk in, turn on my machine, step up to the mic, and I am ready to go. Got my script right in front of me. I can record, I can go to town, and it takes me maybe a minute and a half, including the startup time, to be ready to record. Yeah, it's such a it's such a good idea, Trent, and uh, I uh, definitely could take a page from this. <laughs> um, it's it's a bit of a process for me because I have to actually go outside to get to my recording studio. So it's you know it doesn't um, it doesn't really save me time to to do that. But you know, at the very least, and uh, one of the things that we're advocates of um, is uh, gentle and, uh, you know, um, in between rather than all or nothing. So one of the things that I can do is I can get my script dialed up um, to the to the right place. Mm -hmm. I can. Uh, and by the way, folks, I don't know if you know this, but the most popular way of uh, recording books these days is to actually record into your computer and have the script on your monitor rather than having a, a printed copy that's on a music stand. Yes. So uh, this is just how how it easy how easy it is. Um, and uh, what we uh, what I like to do is go into the studio. And it seems to become almost a part of my warm up to arrange things. Uh, and that's yeah, that's okay. But you know, it is a tedious process. So if I can dial my script up ahead of time, get a new file set ahead of time, and maybe even oh golly, uh, I'm wondering what else I can do to prep. Do you have any ideas? Well. This was a gradual process for me. It was a yes. little bit here, a little bit there. And so the ideas will come to you as you think of your process and go, I can shortcut. Well, I don't mean to say shortcut by don't do it, but I can I can shortcut this by making it more efficient. Yes. Because I can figure it out. For example, once I start recording, a quick peek to see that I'm getting a waveform tells me I'm on the correct device if for some reason I didn't think to check it. But the other example that I can give you is that I have a touch screen because I used to record on a Surface Pro. Mm -hmm. I still do. But having that Surface Pro there with the script in front of me made it difficult for me to interact with my software. Okay. So I got a portable monitor. 
Okay, that's very clever. So that's clever. a portable touch screen. They're not very expensive, and that way I can touch it and I can flip through the script, while at and the then, same time I can reach down with one hand and tap the record and pause button. Okay, that's very clever. And also, uh, that way I could have that all set up uh, ahead of time as well and just keep it there you know, overnight and uh, come back to it the next day, and uh, there it is. And the um, other thing is you can take the programs you know you're always going to use and attach them in Windows, you attach them to the taskbar, you just pin them. Mm -hmm. Or in the Mac, of course, it's the launch bar. So you can have those programs ready to go so that when you turn on your Mac or you turn on your Windows computer, they're right there in the tray waiting for you. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it. Uh, and also, you know, I think uh, what I'll uh, uh, test uh, starting as early as tomorrow night is um, we're doing my vocal warm up before I start traveling from the house to the uh, to to the place and just see if that creates even uh, an even smoother workflow. But yeah. that's uh, that's what I'm going to be playing with. Thank you, Trenton. And everybody, thank you as your narrators and teachers of uh, of this process and uh, all that wonderful stuff uh i hope that our voices in your ears meet again real soon thanks everybody thank you thanks everybody <laughs>